welcome to Yoga Sur Style with the Swami Baron Miller. First, we're going to relax in the corpse pose. Out on the ground, back flat, hands by our sides, legs about 18 inches apart. Breath is life. Breathe in and out fully feeling your chest go up and down for about five minutes. Next, we're in the easy pose where our back is straight, our legs are crossed and our hands are out. With our right hand, grab the thumb on one nostril, your second finger on the other, breathe in for four, hold for 16 count and then breathe out for eight count, transferring each time for about six to eight times. Then, then sun salutation. Hands up, stretch back, and then hands to feet. Make sure your hands and feet are in line. One foot back, knee on the ground, look up, back to downward facing dog. Body down, Cobra, release the cobra into the cat, stretching that lower back. Then the same foot goes forward between the hands and the legs, and then touching, lift up, and then arch your back again. Now we're going to do this with breathing. So hands up, inhale. Exhale, hands to feet. Inhale, one leg back, look up. Holding that breath, downward facing dog. Release that breath, exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, the cat. Inhale, that same leg, up between your hands, look up. Exhale, hands to feet, neck down, and then lift up, inhaling, and feel all that nice air in your lungs. Next thing we're going to be doing are the leg raises, which just gets us ready for all our other tricks we're going to do. So keep your legs sort of out, and don't try to have your knees bent too much. Support underneath your knee, and then grab by your ankles. Then do double leg raises about 10 times which is just strengthening your lower abdomens. This is going to be important for our next stunts, the headstand and the scorpion. Starting off with the headstand, our hands form a triangle. Head between the hands and our hands and our neck form a very strong tripod. There is not too much pressure on my neck at this point. Try moving your legs around, doing the splits and making sure that the lower half of your body stays still and strong. He who practices the headstand can conquer time. Now we're going to do some twists where you bend your knees and you twist either side of you. Being very careful not to fall to either side. Then with our hands flat out we're going to lift up our head counteracting feet over our head and we form the scorpion, a very tricky yoga move. Now we're going to be doing the shoulder stand, plow and bridge. With the shoulder stand, put your feet back over your head, hands to support your back. Make sure your thumbs are outside and all your other fingers are inside. 
stretch your legs over your head one at a time using the other leg as stability then when you feel comfortable push both legs over your head touching the ground into the plow formation you'll notice there that the hands are out to keep things stable now the hands are in the same position as the shoulder stand we've moved into the bridge a variation of the bridge is what you can see here now that's just a really nice feeling stretch next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to counteract all the headstand and shoulder stand asanas with the fish and the forward bend